Hey everyone, welcome back to Bucky's Customs. One of the first things I did, as a matter of fact, the first thing I did was make a sign. I made a sign for my niece's wedding, and I'll put a link to the to that video. I did a kind of a short video of that. Didn't really show how I came about making the sign and all that, but I do have other videos of signs, and I'll put links to that. Uh, in the description and there might be something up here for you to take a look at too but one of the first things I've I really wanted to make was a clock and I wanted to convert my logo and put it on the clock and display it in my shop well I finally got to doing that and I did that probably sometime in November or December I created this clock and I did it with the long mill, totally, and out of a piece of plywood. And this piece of plywood just happens to be a walnut veneer plywood. And all I did was clear it with uh, polyurethane. But I think it came out pretty cool. I am going to show you in this video how to make a clock using easel software. Real easy. So stay tuned. Hey, before we go any farther, I would like to say a big thank you to this week's sponsor, CNC Labs, the makers of the Long Mill Benchtop CNC. Hey, if you would like to bring automated carving into your shop, giving you the ability to make some really cool stuff without having an engineering degree, the Long Mill just might be what you've been waiting for. By focusing on simplicity and ease of use, the power to turn your maker dreams into reality can now be in your hands. Just go to cnc.com and order your long mill today. You will be happy you did. Now let's get back to this week's project. Okay, what we're doing here now is I've attached some aura mask to the project. I wasn't sure if I wanted to paint the letters or stain the letters or any of that, but uh, I thought I'd put the aura mask on. What you do is you carve through it. What's left um, protects your wood and, of course, doesn't protect your finger. As you can see there, I had a little accent. You might want to move the mill out of your way. But uh, I attached the board with some brads and found center. And I used my compass to give me some sort of a reference. And then we went ahead and created our clock in easel. We're going to use easel pro and we're going to need to go to our browser. I use Google Chrome. You can use whatever browser you'd like. This is an internet based program so you are going to need the internet and because of that you're going to need to set up an account if you don't already have one. And once you do that you go in there and what we're gonna do first here is I've already created these files but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I did to get these files in there it's really simple we used SVG files let's get started with creating a toolpath for my logo now we're gonna make a clock 12-inch diameter clock as you can see we've already got the the wood defined 12 by 12 it's three quarters of an inch thick and as you can see I'm using um, center for my starting point I bring in uh, my logo and how I did that was as I imported an SVG and real easy to uh, if you have a photo or anything like that it's real easy to go to an online SVG creator and create an SVG or a vector drawing and next thing you know you've 
you've got your photo and a lot of them are really really good with their rendering right off the top some are you just uh, I'll put a link to the one I used in the description below but um, if you if you also have Carveco you can do the same thing uh, in Carveco so but I'm using easel in this case and that's how I did it so I sized it basically with the I made it a center position and I sized it at six six inches by six inches which is right here and I moved it to zero zero on the position and that's why we have it down here this I'm gonna get rid of we don't need that so go like this and delete that so now what we're gonna do is we are going to make sure everything is set up I'm using a 60 degree bit and my cut settings are automatic I like the way this is working it's gonna take um, one pass it appears so we're good with that the V bit can definitely take it and should be really really good I might want to slow it down I am using the uh, aura mass so I think I'm gonna slow this down a little bit take my time on this one so that the aura mask doesn't get tore up too badly if you go too fast sometimes the aura mask just tears and rips uh, the key there is prepare your surface and make sure that it's it's on there for a while at least a day I would say um, to get the best adhesion and that will get you the best results so now we're gonna do a detailed view just double checking everything making sure we're good yes we're good okay so we're gonna export the G code and I'm gonna go to advanced and generate the G code this usually takes a couple seconds to do and there we go so now we just export the G code save that file and that's all there is to it close this and now we are going to open another file we want the numbers and the outline as you can see I have the numbers all set up now I did the same thing with these numbers in this clock face that I did with the logo only this clock face I found for free on Love SVG I will put a link to that in the description below I will also put a link to the shared file so that you can get this clock face if you'd like and that's that so after we zero everything out we set our depths this is the hole for the clock um, this is our outline that's gonna cut I'm using an eighth inch bit and I am going to leave the cut settings the way they are and we're gonna go to machine advanced and generate this G code and there we go export the G code and save it and I save it to a flash drive and we are good to go there and that's all there is to it now we will go over to G sender and get started carving okay so we are opening G Sender and we're gonna go and load a file 
file we're going to load is Bucky's logo. And there it is. Okay. We need to probe. We need to set our X and Y like we always do. You know how it's done. So we're going to do Z with the V bit, just Z. And then we're going to position the router and set our X and Y. Okay, what I did here was change over to a eighth inch end mill and we're going to carve the numbers and cut the outline of the clock. Okay, what we're going to do now is I've got the clock all carved and I'm over at the mill. I'm going to use the mill as a kind of a workbench. I do that a lot. Um, got the clock all carved, the holes done. What I need to do now is I'm going to use this real wood veneer and how I'm going to do this is I'm going to glue this or hot iron this on the edge of this three quarter inch board. And that's going to give me a nice clean edge, something that I can poly or stain if I want to, but it will, it will finish it off more or less. And that's what we're going to do right now. Well, there she is. I know it's not the best looking clock in the world, but it was my first one. And actually my second one, I take that back. The first one um, I had to steal the hands off of because I waited an extra couple days to post this video because Amazon kind of shorted me on my delivery. But um, anyway, there she is. I made her a little bit different. Um, if you look 
you can you can definitely see the differences the letters are bigger and I think it came out pretty good the front and the back backs nice and clean but um, you know it really doesn't take much to do this kind of work on your long mill it um, there's so much stuff out there to watch including me that you can learn from and you know I'm learning every day and I appreciate our long mill mill one group for all their help each and every week and I really do appreciate all the people that are on that because it really helps me out and you know when you go to my channel and you watch a video it helps me be able to produce more videos and I really appreciate that so that's the way it came out I'm pretty happy with it so folks if you like the video please subscribe to my channel all you need to do is just click on the word subscribed it's free once it says subscribed you're there you're there for life so click on the notification bell and you'll get notified whenever I post the video I really appreciate everyone's support and you know what happy Father's Day to all you dads out there I really appreciate my dad and I wish he was here so this one's for you dad take care everyone and be safe out there thanks